Hey guys, what's going on? This is Dylan from Noobhood, and today I'm going to bring you an in-depth video of the best classes to use in Destiny. Now before I kick this video off, I want to tell you guys that 90 to 80% of your kills and skill will be in your guns. And if you play the game, you probably know this is true, and you probably also know to use the right gun. And uh, what I mean by this is, if you're playing a strike and say it's mostly against fire enemies, you're going to want to use a gun that has uh, fire or solar, sorry, solar abilities. If they're void enemies, use void guns. Arc enemies, use arc guns. It just helps you um, do better and succeed at the game and make it easier. Now, I also want to tell you guys, just so you trust me, that I am level 27 in the Hunter class, level 26 in the Warlock class, and, uh, and level 26 in the Titan class. So I do know the game pretty well, and I know what to use. Um what gameplay style they all are, and everything that you need to know. So, without further ado, let's get right into it and break this down. So I want to start off with the gameplay style of all the three classes because that's the most important thing, is that you guys have fun. I mean, that's probably why you bought the game in the first place, is to have fun and get the overall best experience. So we'll start off with the Hunter. Um, this is just going to be a very broad broad breakdown of this guy he's a uh, very agile very fast paced um, he's fast and if you like being a lone wolf or the strength of the pack as they like to say in destiny I would go with this guy he's very uh, skill based because you have the throwing knife his grenades are pretty well placed and um, I suggest actually using a hand cannon with him it just kind of fits the style of the hunter but overall he's a pretty solid class the Warlock is a very fun class to use. His uh, glide or double jump is very good. You can go far and fast and hover above enemies, basically fly over them, or you can fly to safety. And uh, he has a really good melee. It's like using the force in Star Wars. You can be like 10 feet away from an enemy and just throw out your fist, and he throws like a ball of fire towards them. And uh, I mean, it's pretty easy. He's pretty easy to use. He has really good placed or well placed grenades. Overall, fun character to use. The Titan is uh, a little bit slower, but he's tougher, and by that I mean he has more armor. He is a good support class for the team if you are using the Defender Special, um, which I don't recommend. I think the other one is good, but we'll get into specials uh, later. And uh, he's more fun than skill based it does take a little more skill to use him than the warlock i'd say the warlock is the one that you have to use the least amount of skill with but uh the titan's melee is pretty good overall he's a good support and fun class to use the next topic i want to talk about is style because that is another very important part to the game you want to look cool in front of everyone and just yeah you want to look good and be awesome so after a lot of uh, going through each character I came to the conclusion that the number one spot goes to the Titan just because of uh, how big like the armor is it just kind of looks intimidating you know and it's, it's cool it has like cuts and edges to it that just make it look really nice and with my armor what I have it has like blades on its thighs and forearms on the armor and it just looks really really nice and really fresh <coughs> I, I don't even have a uh, legendary shader. I have a rare shader called Polar Arc. It's really important that you use the right shader. It doesn't need to be some legendary shader as long as it looks good, you know? So that's an important thing. Shaders are very important in the game to making your character look good. You just need to pick the right thing. As you can see on my Warlock, which is in the number two spot for looking good, I have the God of War shader. And it's an all red shader and it just looks really well, really well, really good on the guy because um, of the Sunbreaker gauntlets. And that is why the Warlock is in second place because it's kind of a flashy, more flashy character with the Warlock bond. And if you have the Sunbreaker gauntlets, it just is an all around pretty cool look. Uh, it just kind of has a magical aura around it, I guess, and looks pretty cool, especially if you get a legendary bond or a bond from the speaker. Coming in at a close number three, because they still look cool, are the Hunters. It's not that the Hunters don't look cool, it's just their armor is, uh, it's kind of basic. It's not simple, it's basic. You can make them look cool, but you know what I'm trying to say? It's kind of just like, uh, simple, you know? It's simple, but cool. So it's not as flashy, and it's not as big as intimidating, but 
He's a hunter. He's supposed to be like agile and fast, so his armor's kind of lightweight and stuff. But they still look cool if you use the right shader. I have million million on mine, which was the shader from the Iron uh, Fist or something like that. Iron, I don't know what it was called, but uh, Iron Banner. Iron Banner. That's where I got the uh, shader from, and it was like a weekly thing. So that is the thing on style, and I showed you all my three characters. Let's get on to the next topic. The next thing I want to talk about is the special for all the three classes, including multiplayer and story mode, and which one is the best one. So, coming in at number one, I've decided is the Hunter class, and the best special to use from the Hunter class is the Blade Dancer, or the Arc Blade, instead of the Golden Pistol. And I have some gameplay here just showing you what it can do in multiplayer. I think I get like a five kill streak, like a like there were five people in the room and I just went in there and totally annihilated them because the thing is so powerful and it's unstoppable the, the uh, blade dancer is like super hard to kill in multiplayer once he turns up and it's just an, an unstoppable weapon really and the same in story or single player it's not really a single player it's kind of a story mode I guess uh, but it's still the best special to use it can just take out enemies left and right and it's a super fast and um, easy thing to do. Easy thing to use. All you have to do is like press RB and you just snap out, snap onto targets. So that's number one. Number two is the Warlock with the Sun Singer special, not the Void one. The Sun Singer is the best one, I think, because you can self-resurrect in multiplayer. This is always a pain for the opponents because they kill you and then you self-resurrect right in front of them and get like quads and triples and all that. Super effective, the grenade recharges, and I think you can use it a total of six times in one super charge solar flare thing. You can use the grenade six times, and you can use the uh, solar melee a lot, because that recharges fast as well. Same in uh, single player or story mode. Uh, it's effective against, really effective against solar enemies, and it just takes out people left and right, as always, because it is a super. And then in number three is the Titan, and the only reason why the Titan is number three is because it's kind of, uh, like, it's easy to mess up. And I'm talking about the, uh, the Striker class. I don't know, you, some people like to use the Defender. If you like protecting other people, by all means, go for it. It is really effective, though, if you put it, if you put the bubble in the right place, and you can protect, like, the whole team if you're in multiplayer. But I do recommend and favor the Striker class. Just because it's so powerful, if you get a big group of guys in and multiplayer, you can take like the whole team out or half the team. It's just really effective, and it, the Titan is impossible to kill if you're in mid crushing skill thing. It, you can't kill him while he's in the middle of that. It's impossible, and then uh, single player is just as effective. The only downside and the only reason why it's number three is you can mess it up or overshoot. Because if you have the uh, the mod or whatever where he jumps farther, you can like over jump your target. And you can still take out a lot of people, but just not as many as you had uh, intended. I have the one where you like can control where he goes and where you turn into a rocket, and it's really fun to use. But it's you have to aim, and it's really easy to mess up. Overall, though, they they all are really good classes. All the specials are really good. Really, they're all balanced. It basically comes down to what gameplay you like. And I'm just going to say it straightforward then. So Warlock and Titan are more fun gameplays. I guess fun to use. A little less more skill-based. The Hunter is fast-paced, more skill-based. That's basically it. And uh, if anyone is, like, fucking criticizing me on this video because I'm not level... Like, if you're level 30, I know you probably have cooler shit than me. Okay, <laughs> sorry I don't have the best stuff, I'm, I'm trying to hold down three classes here, but yeah, this is just for people that are like kind of new to the game and want to feel, if you're not new, then I'm just kind of showing off my classes for you, but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, leave a like if you did, leave some feedback, tell me if this helped you, and or if you just kind of wanted to see my classes and you thought my classes were cool, be like, hey, cool classes, and I'll be like, yay, and uh, I am actually looking for people to help me get the uh, exotic weapon thorn. So if you want to help me and if you've stuck around this long for the video, leave your gamer tag in the description. Just hit me up. I'm on Xbox One and we can try to go get thorn because I cannot complete that and my friends are gay and think Destiny's stupid. So once again, this is Dylan signing out for the Noob Hood. 
You guys have a great day. See you later. Hope you enjoyed.